What is transformer? Transformer is a static electrical device, which uses in different purposes but the main purpose of transformer is to step up or step down the AC electrical voltages. Hello friends. If you are looking for a valuable knowledge sharing platform you are on right place. Welcome to Technical Library. If you still not subscribe the Technical Library channel please subscribe it for latest videos and updates, if you have any doubt feel free to ask about it in the comment section. Hit the like button for appreciation. In our today's tutorial we will learn about the construction. Working principle and applications of transformer. Keep watching the video till end for useful knowledge. As we know that electrical power generation plants are running on hydropower or dams and hydrocarbons like coal, fuel oils, nuclear fuel, natural gas, oil shale and peat. And mostly power plants are very far from the end users or human populations. After generation of electricity the main challenge is transfer it to the end users. Electricity is generated at 11,000 volts or 11 kV at the generating stations. It is cheaper to generate electricity at a relative lower voltage. If we transfer electricity on the same voltage as 11 kV as it generated, there will be much power losses accrued in the transmission lines, and it will not be economically suitable. To make the electricity transmission process economically acceptable. The best way is to step up the electrical voltages as much as possible to manage. For that purpose, a device was invented is called transformer. Because this transformer steps up or increase the voltages. So, this transformer is called step up transformer. But our most of equipment are working on medium or low voltages it means we need to reduce the voltages. To reduce these high and extra high voltages into low voltages. Step down transformer was made. Now let's see how the transformer does it work. And transfer the electrical voltages from low to high and high to low. Transformer works on Faraday's law of mutual induction which states that when a change takes place in the magnetic flux which is linked with a circuit, an electromotive force current will induce in the circuit. To understand this law first, we need to understand the construction of transformer. Transformer has its two main parts. Number one is core and number two is windings. Transformer core is made with the soft iron and windings are arranged on the core. The purpose of core is to provide a magnetic path to magnetic fluxes. Created by the transformer windings. Transformer has two windings. One is primary winding and. Second is secondary winding. Transformer input is connected to primary windings. And output is connected to secondary windings. The relation between transformer windings and voltages is described in below formula. NS over NP is equals to VS over VP. Where NS equals turns of secondary windings. NP equals turns of primary windings. VS equals secondary voltages. VP equals primary voltages. In the step-up transformer, the secondary winding number of turns are more than the primary winding's number of turns. But in the step-down transformer, primary winding's number of turns are more than the secondary winding's number of turns. If you want to know more about the transformer voltage, current and turn ratio calculation, watch my video in the i button or visit technical library channel. Now let's know about the application of transformer. Transformer is used in power plants, electrical substations, industries and as well as in the home appliances also. In the power plants and transmission substation, transformer is used to step up electrical voltages. 
In the distribution substations it is used to step down the voltages as per the end user's requirements. In the industry it is used as auto transformer for motor starting circuits. And in the domestic electrical system it is used as isolation transformer. In the separated extra low voltage protection system, 